All right, y'all. Welcome to Joe's Retro World. Today, we're going to take a look at a demo that I got just today, actually. I woke up this morning, watched the video. I was getting ready for work, and I saw a review for Black Jewel Reborn. And this is a game that's on Steam. So if you got PC, you can download this game already and play it on there. But it's being ported over to the NES, Sega Genesis, and Super Nintendo. And so they have a Kickstarter for it. I, I have not invested at all because I'm just going to wait for somebody to go ahead and release the full game after they buy it. You know, and then I'll just get it that way. But if you wish to back it and get a hard copy, that's cool because this game is actually really fun. Um, I've downloaded it now and I put it on the emulator on my new Nintendo 3DS that you can see down there playing real small little screen looking kick-ass and as you can see here this is my Sega Genesis I'm using a Mega EverDrive X7 put the ROM on there boom it looks beautiful on the Sega Genesis so I went ahead loaded the game onto my Wii and used RetroArch to play it with the Pico Drive but uh I don't like the way it looks. I'm trying to fix the aspect ratio to fit the screen, but let me show you what it looks like. Let me use my electronic switcher to, that is the Wii V right there. And as you can see, it got squished. And I don't like the way the characters look. To me, they just don't look as sharp and beautiful. It has a very smooth look, so if you're playing on PC on a new L LCD screen, I, I imagine this is what it looks like, but I don't like it. I like the 240p look of the Sega Genesis, and like I said, I put it on the new Nintendo 3DS since it's jailbroken, and I'm able to put, you know, uh, my emulators on there, so I got the Retro Arch with the Pico also, but as you can see, this one looks really good. I mean, it looks really great on the new Nintendo 3DS. And it sounds great. I got the music down. No, it's not actually all the way up, but you can't hear it because of the music on the TV in the background. But this plays and looks just awesome, y'all. Let me focus in there. Very well drawn. Very fun game. It's two levels. I want to go ahead and go ahead and play through them and let you see what it actually looks like. So I'm going to switch back to my Sega Genesis feed. Hear me focus there. There you go. That that's very ugly. I don't like I don't like playing it like that. It plays better. It sounds better on the Sega Genesis. It's the original hardware. Got that over here. There is my Sega Genesis. Sorry, so bright. <laughs> They turn it over here and nothing but gloriness. So let's uh let's get on here and lock the screen. Go play some game. You can choose between the man and the woman. Uh, I like old girls uh mechanics. Great music. Now I can't figure out how to crouch. So that's kind of pissing me off. But her whipping action is awesome. Very responsive controls. The only reason you get hit is because you messed up. And if you look up there on the top left of the corner, up here that you can see her face and as she gets killed she decomposes it's just too cool now they have a energy bar up there for the whip so i don't know what that's for though you 
can't crouch. I don't know why. So, no crouching, no dodging. But you do have a, a big range with that whip. You gotta love the body just crumbling. See your health. Great animation. It's a 2.13 megabyte car. This is just for the demo. I can imagine how large the regular game is. And this is just for two levels. Great music, great animation. All right, here's the boss, the first level. First, you gotta get rid of these crows. Let them dive bomb you. I don't know what's wrong with the music there, but it, it gets kind of quiet. Now you gotta start hitting the faces in the tree. I like how that whole land rumbles. There's no sprinting, so just walk fast. Now, I can't wait. I need to download the Super Nintendo version, but uh, I just love playing my Sega Genesis. As you can see, it's just it's a beautiful game. I forgot. Oh. Okay, you see my character up there on the top? You can see how she's fading. <laughs> She's half skeleton now. Just look at that blush, just flat out. Oh. I don't know what these coins are for. Maybe you can buy stuff later. In the shop. Swoop on me, huh? Oh, You do have continues. I want to let y'all see that animation. It's pretty cool. As you 
can whip through the wall like that. Not the wall, the floors. Pretty much anywhere it touches it. The reed's crazy. See, there's no, there's no dodging. So close to medicine. Triceratops Rex from uh, Jurassic Park. So, now you have to jump up and hit him with your whip. And then he'll fall to the ground and you hit him. Now he'll jump up and hit a fireball at you, look. Continue, so you can see the animation will continue. <laughs> you cut the Grim Reaper's arm off. How cool is that? Hope y'all enjoyed this review go out there get your demo i'm gonna leave a link in the description to where you can get your own demo and play it on whatever it is you want to play it on your sega genesis your wii your new nintendo 3ds and trust me it sounds way better on the sega genesis and to me it, it quite frankly looks way better okay there's all the information you need facebook twitter instagram but yeah this is a cool game I think I'm gonna have to get the the digital version once it comes out and download it. Just to help support it because this is a really fun game. It looks great, plays great. They deserve to release this game. So uh check out the options before I go, yo. Music, sound, everything. Oh music test. Music alone is worth getting this game. Look at it. 
All right, see, 11 tracks. All right, y'all. Go out there, get yours, enjoy it, play it, make a video, show how much you love it, on what system you played it on. All right, y'all. Until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.